All right, hold up. <laughs> Is this live? I can't, I can't even tell. All right, I'm just gonna sit here and wait until someone says something in the chat. Wait, I need my drawing glove. Where is that? I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> ah, hello, people. Okay, so can you hear me? If you can, say pi. I'll wait a moment. <laughs> Got my drawing glove. We're all set. Any pies? If not, I'll type can you hear me in the chat. I don't know how much the delay is. Okay, we got pies. Yay, okay. I hope that the sound uh, is okay because I'm not entirely sure that my microphone is hooked up. I think it is. Uh, and then also <laughs> um, my laptop, which I am, uh, which what is what you're seeing is, <laughs> um, it's very loud, but right now it's actually being fine. So I'm really happy about that because when I tried to live stream on Monday, it was like screaming. <laughs> I was like, please stop. <laughs> but yeah, uh, on Monday I opened up the live stream thing and I was all ready. And so it was like, actually you can't live stream until 24 hours from now. And so <laughs> that didn't work out. Even though my YouTube account was verified, I guess it just wanted me to wait 24 hours. Anyway. I'm always um, a very, I don't know how to explain, but a very jumpy and like jitterish whenever I start a live stream because I'm terrible at setting them up and I never know if it's going to go right. <laughs> so um, where should we start? <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a drawing live stream. So uh, you can ask drawing questions and I'll try to explain to you. And um, we can talk about some other things first. If you guys want to, you know, start thinking about what you want to ask. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, uh, plans for this channel. Uh, first off, uh, of course, I'm going to keep doing the short, uh, art tip videos. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, um, we're going to keep doing those. I might make them a little bit longer. Like, I'm trying to get, like, over a minute on most of them. And, um, but not too long, of course. They're still, they're supposed to be short. I can't draw animals with two eyes? We can cover that. I'm gonna have trouble because I'm gonna wanna, like, talk about things that I know I already have a video planned for. So I don't know if I should just repeat what's, what I'm gonna say in the future or not. <laughs> yeah, so in addition to those uh, short videos, um, as I already started doing is I'm mixing in some animations. I'd like to join some maps at some point. That'd be fun. And um, also I want to do longer videos every once in a while where they're like um, sort of like maybe like fun art challenges. Stuff like that. I'm already making an intro for those longer videos and I, it's coming out well so far. Though Adobe Animate just doesn't like me I think. <laughs> it, so it's so frustrating like I cannot I'm trying to do it on two different devices and on my laptop it um I was trying to get my audio for my intro and it it like would not import into my uh into Adobe Animate and uh <laughs> and so I kept trying it I kept doing different like audio files I tried like seven or something and none of them worked and I was so frustrated and so I switched I was like you know what I'm gonna try this on my normal computer so I emailed it to myself I uh, sent I put it in Adobe Animate and it worked just fine and I don't know why I it's just really weird and then also when I was in the middle of uh, working on my intro I it just out of nowhere I wasn't doing anything like out of the ordinary <laughs> And it was like, oh, it just put, uh, there was a pop-up that just said, I wrote it down, one second. It said, unknown error, quitting application. And then nicely asked me if I wanted to save before it did so. I don't, I don't know why. At least it, it at least it was nice and uh, let me save first. It, it, it's been a time. All right. Uh, anything else that I should say before we, um, <laughs> before we get started? 
I need to move my microphone so I can actually see the bottom of the chat. <laughs> I only use Flippy Clip for animating. Yeah, um, I've never actually used Flippy Clip, but I've heard that's good for like a starting point. Adobe software is always crash. They do. It, it, at the worst times, it's the worst. Yeah, I my first animation program was Animation Desk, but I kind of wish I started with Flippy Clip because I'm pretty sure it's a bit better. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I I turned out all right, though. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, start, start asking questions, guys. I know someone said animals with two eyes. We'll see if there's anything more specific. I've already got, um, I've got, like, several things open so that I'm, I'm all set. Do you think you might make a map one day? I've always thought about that, actually. Thought about hosting one, although I'm, I don't know. I just have to like, I always have to worry about copyrighted music and I really don't like that. I never, I never know how music works on YouTube because everyone, everyone uses all these musics, all these musics <laughs> that should be copyrighted and nothing happens. And I'm worried that I'm going to be like, well, if nothing happened to them, nothing's gonna happen to me, right? And then I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, how do I get better at drawing animals with proper anatomy? Yeah, animals are tricky because there's a lot of them. There's a lot of different kinds of animals. We can talk about like cats or dogs a bit if you guys want, like their anatomy. There are also, I want to like dedicate individual live streams to more specific topics, but we can definitely go over that a little bit. Oh yeah, and then also on Monday, uh, I was gonna start my live stream and I was like, what if the Spider-Man trailer comes out and I'm in the middle of live streaming? Luckily it wasn't until later that day, but if it came out while I was live streaming, I would have just ended the live stream, guys. I would have just like, nope, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> but yeah, luckily we don't have to worry about that today. Can you teach us how to draw a circle? All right, so you take the circle tool. <laughs> Is there, a, where's the, I don't, I don't use a circle tool ever. Hold on, let's let's draw a circle, guys. Yeah, you take you take this, you hold down shift, and you go like that. There, there's your circle. Let's go. Uh, how to <laughs> delete that? <laughs> We're teaching you the important things today. Okay, um, got my pencil back. Any tips on drawing feathers slash fur? So, um, my best advice for doing that sort of thing is to, first off, be loose about it, and then also you kind of just want to, um, vary what you're doing. Like, the different shapes, like, if you go like that, it just looks pretty boring. So you want to, like, vary your curves. Sometimes do, like, something that looks very harsh, maybe something that looks more rounded. You just have to kind of get a good feel for it, I guess. It just comes with practice. Yeah, now you know how to draw a circle. Yeah. And now I have random lines here. I am definitely going to lose my voice uh, by the end of this live stream. I don't know how people live stream for like five hours and are fine. Maybe it's just because I don't, I don't talk much. <laughs> okay. Um, can you answer my question? It's above in the chat. Yeah, let me scroll up a second because I need to like scoot closer to the live chat because I cannot see. <laughs> Best circle 2021, yeah! Okay, um, hopefully I'm not super loud now that I'm closer to the mic. Let's see. What else is here? How did you come up with your art style? I steal other art styles, actually, so it's really just a combination of me being like, oh, I really like that artist art style, or I really like that art style in that one cartoon, and then I just mash them all together. Sometimes it leans more like one art style, sometimes it leans more like another, and then it just kind of forms into my own. It's weird. I don't know if other people do that, but I'm always like, oh, that person draws eyes cool, and I just, I just take it. <laughs> I've never animated before, sadly. It's always something fun to try. Obviously, it's not for everyone because you need patience. 
but it is a lot of fun so if you get like flip or something uh, you can try it out sometimes I'll show I should show you guys like more of my old animations because they, they're all on my my old animation program okay um let's talk about drawing animals with two eyes because that was up there uh, should I or should I erase this or should I know what we're, we're erasing this this isn't <laughs> This isn't pretty to look at. Why is my opacity at 55? <laughs> yeah, I've got an animation uh, video. Have I have I uploaded that yet? No, I haven't uploaded that one yet. There's another um, animation one coming up at some point. What color do I have? That's a good color. Okay, animals with two eyes. The first thing you want to do is you want to start with the head. How many people do we have watching? My brain is all over the place. 21! Sweet. Thanks for coming, guys. I'm always like this at the beginning of live streams. I just have so much, like, nervous energy of, like, trying to set it up. So you start with whatever your head shape is of this animal. You don't need to worry about, like, if it has a muzzle or whatever yet. Uh, here, here's your animal. It's an interesting head shape. Um... Uh, so uh, first you want to do guidelines are really, I always do them when I do animals like this, especially when their head is at a slight angle like this one is. And I might move that outwards a little bit just so that the shape has a three dimensional form. And um, do the eye line. I actually do the eye line. Some people, they want to put the eye like in the middle of the eye line like that, but I always put it uh, wherever I want the bottom of the eyes to be so maybe more like that and then from there I will um, my dog is growling Aw. say hi to your dog for me I miss petting dogs I need to pet a dog okay so then you've got the bottom of your eye line and so then you start with the eyes I don't know what eyes I want to draw on this thing well, we'll just go like that and then, so we've got one eye, that's a start. Then of course there's the other eye, which is a whole nother story. And for that, since my animal here is at a slight uh, turn, I want to make sure that that is a uh, scene and that I don't just copy this eye exactly. And so usually that means I make it a little bit more uh, vertically narrow. Is that, is that, does that make sense? <laughs> and I make sure that the bottom of the eye, the most important thing I think is to make sure that the bottom of the eyes like are at the same level. And make sure that your guidelines aren't straight if your uh, animal isn't looking straight on because then this eye would end up being, like if I just went like that, this eye would end up being weirder. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically like the best way I can explain it is just use the guidelines, especially for the bottom of the eyes. Um, let's see. Do you want to get into the cartoon slash animation industry in the future? Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking about my options a lot. Uh, ideally, I think I would like to um, be really successful on YouTube for a while, do like art commissions and uh, start off with YouTube for some time, um, but also, you know, getting into like animation or something. I don't know exactly what yet. Not 3D. 3D is fun to mess with, but <laughs> it's not... When, when you get into like farther into it, then you get into numbers and it's like, ugh. But yeah, uh, animation, maybe for like cartoons would be fun. I also like character design a lot. Um, doing concept art for like movies and shows and games would be awesome, but I don't know how, <laughs> how much of a chance I would have getting into a job like that. Obviously, you know, I'm worth a shot, but it's, it's kind of, it's kind of up there. All right. What else do we have? Do you have a chibi version of your art style? If so, can you do a very ske fast sketch of it? Um, yeah, I don't really do a whole lot of live stream. No way. Yeah. Hi. Okay. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna open a new thing for now. Um, 
What? I gave myself two layers. Uh, yeah, for chibi. Let's see. Let's see if I can draw a chibi thing. We're gonna make it my avatar on this channel. Do it like little round head. This this is a very much an experiment. I think I think they usually have like low eyes, and they're kind of like small. And I don't. Do they have? Do do chibi like drawings have noses? I don't remember. Little little smile. Ah. <laughs> and uh, earring. Are these are these earrings? I don't I don't really know. I designed my my little avatar here, and I don't even know what's happening. The real mystery is what's underneath the hat. Like, is it bald? <laughs> I've actually like experimented with that, um, like drawing like what the hair would look like, and I, I I would say there is hair under there. It's just like kind of weird because like where does the hair end and the skin begin? <laughs> A little hat. Yeah, I think like for chibi art, which I am not very experienced in. Do they have eyebrows? <laughs> I don't know. Is to have like these cute little features that are like lower down on the face. And a little small body. There. <laughs> Should I draw the body? Let's do the body. Let's do a hoodie. I literally drew this avatar, like, I literally thought of this channel idea, and I was like, hey, this would be a good channel idea. I drew the avatar, I only did, like, one take on it, and I was like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> We're going with this. So, you know, hopefully I don't regret that in the future, and I still think it looks good. I think I should make the body smaller. It needs to be, like, a bobblehead. Okay, what other questions do we got while I'm doing this? I gotta scroll down. Thank you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Is there anything you can't draw? Um, I have a video about my drawing weakness coming up. I've got a lot of videos coming up. I literally just like, yesterday I just went and planned a bunch of videos. Your, my profile pic is a recent drawing of mine. Any tips for making it look better? I gotta, hold on, I gotta remove the mic. Gotta look at that. Ooh, I think it looks, I think it looks nice. I mean, it's kind of hard to, to see when it's a tiny profile pic, but I like the, the like purple and pink combination and it gives it more like dimension. I have two questions. How do you draw human hair? Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Okay, did you guys notice this, like, uh, tutorial box or something pop up? I don't know if I can, like, get rid of that somehow. <laughs> okay, here's, here's the little... Let's put the feet, like, there. There! My... <laughs> it's me! <laughs> okay! Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna move to this canvas. And talk about hair now. So we're gonna start with a, uh, a human head. Here is our human being. Uh, while I'm while I'm drawing this nice human head here, what are some of your favorite cartoons, either childhood ones or modern? As a kid, I loved uh, a lot of them. Martha Speaks had the dog, so obviously that. Uh, I liked Little Einsteins, even though I like not into music. <laughs> I, I don't know what about it. Uh, there was like the Backyardigans and um, what else? What else was there? I know I'm forgetting a bunch of them. I mean, there's some where I like barely remember the name. I remember Dragon Tail. This one episode was stuck in my brain for the longest time and I could not remember what the show was until one day I just found like the intro of the show and it just all came back to me. Uh, nowadays, uh, I still watch a lot of the cartoons coming out now for 
you know, like older kids sort of age. I really like uh, the DuckTales reboot and Tangled the series, I think, are my top two. So I'll probably reference them in the videos. I've already done that once with Tangled, so. Little Einstein's that was your favorite. Oh yeah, I barely remember. Like I just I just know the theme and I don't really remember what they would do in every episode. I spent way too long drawing this head. Okay, so let's talk about the hair. Um we're just gonna start with like a normal like female long hair kind of thing. Uh you kinda wanna start like figure out what kind of part you want is a good start. So I'm gonna want it to be like parted like there. And also, um, I should make sure that the hair has a hairline. <laughs> that, that, that's important. Don't forget your hairline. Because the hair doesn't perfectly stick out on the top of your head. Your head is a three-dimensional thing. Yeah, I, I wish the DuckTales had a fourth season. That would have been nice. Oh well. Okay, so then you want to like figure out, yeah, this is my part, and then um, I kind of just start with this part of the hair, just kind of like a loose line, figure out what to do with that. It's really just kind of instinct. It's weird. You just want to make sure that your lines are interesting and that they kind of like make sense. <laughs> Am I explaining this good, guys? <laughs> um, yeah. You know, my sister draws hair where it doesn't, uh, she draws like the head and then the hair goes like that and it doesn't go behind the head and I'm, I'm confused by that to, to this day. It's always just how she's done it and I kind of love it, but it's, it's a little odd, but I appreciate her for it. So yeah, you want to make sure, um, don't draw individual strands. You're not drawing strands of the hair, you're drawing the shape. And so, you know, you want to make it, I don't know, it depends on what kind of hair you're going for. But you make it sort of fold and curve and you, you just, you just draw the hair, right? <laughs> and sometimes, you know, uh, you don't need to draw the ears because they're covered. I'm going to have an ear showing on this side. Like, the hair might be tucked behind the ear. Let's see. I saw a question. Do you watch any anime? I watched, um, I watched a little bit of SAO at my, uh, friend's house years ago. I don't remember much. <laughs> and then, does this count as anime? We watched, uh, the movie Princess Mononoke in English class one year. I don't, there, there was no reason why, we just watched it. <laughs> I think my English teacher just, just really liked that movie. What platform do you use to draw? Um, like in terms of programs, I guess, most of the time I'm using like, like right now I'm using Photoshop. I also use Procreate a lot, usually when I'm too lazy to open up Photoshop. <laughs> and whenever I'm drawing on Procreate, I don't have like a, a stylus for that, so I'm just drawing with my finger. I do that a lot, I don't know why, but drawing with my finger just never bothers me. At least on my iPad. So yeah, hair, it's really kind of... You can, honestly, the best way to practice hair is to look at different character designs and what their hair looks like, because then you can get a sense of, like, different hairstyles and, you know, that sort of thing. It's kind of hard to explain, you know? <laughs> you know, you can have, like, swirly hair like this, so you can have more spiky hair. There, There's a lot of different ways to draw hair. Hold on, I gotta pull up the my subscriber count. I was gonna look at that for during this live stream and I've completely forgotten. Luckily it hasn't changed though, so we're all good. Okay, um let's see if I missed any. Would it be mean to steal ideas from your avatar for mine? I guess it depends on what you mean. That's kind of like I don't know. I steal like art style things, but I don't like it when it comes to like creature design or like uh 
like I guess my sort of um avatar my avatar has this like sort of um it's like a humanoid kind of thing so I guess if you like kind of copy that sense of it that would be more odd but I draw an ibis paint with my thumb. Good for you. I can draw on paper, but not on the computer or my tablet. Yeah, drawing on paper is fine. I draw on paper a lot. It's always um, it's always good to switch between. Usually when I'm like practicing, like drawing in my sketchbook, I will just use paper. What is your favorite thing to draw? I draw human expressions a lot, a lot. I just have a bunch of bald heads in with with faces <laughs> they're everywhere they don't deserve hair they just have expressions and maybe ears if they're lucky okay there might have been a question I missed so if you have a question that you think I missed you are free to ask it again your dog is watching your screen oh maybe your dog loves me I'm honored I'm the queen of Drawsaurus. <laughs> yeah, I, we played that in like my art class and I was at home and they were all in person so they were all using their phones and meanwhile I had my my stylus and my nice Surface Studio here and I, I felt like I was cheating but I still lost. I still lost so it's fine. How do you, where do you find the motivation to improve your art? So, um, basically I just look at other people's art and I'm like, oh no, they're better than me. I have to, I have to catch up. And so I, um, get determined to, to get as good as them. And that's how it, that's how it works. And before this, um, be right before I started this channel, of course, I uh, went through that art phase where I was like, oh no, everyone's better than me. What do I do? I'm the worst. And of course, I'm starting this art channel where I'm teaching people art. And so that did not mix well. And so I was like really nervous about doing this channel, but it's been fine. It's been all good. Appreciate all the support and people seem to like my teaching. So <laughs> it, it seems to be going fine so far. But yeah, just, you know, looking at other people's art and being jealous. <laughs> Could you show us how you draw dog snouts? Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. Let's, let's use this. Let's use this drawing. I kept this up and for a good reason, I guess. So dog snouts, uh, keep them. Usually they're pretty far down depending on what I'm going for, I guess, which I talk about more. I'm doing a video pretty soon, not very soon, but planned where I talk about drawing, um, like mostly canine and feline, like head profiles. And so there'll definitely be more of this in there, but really it just comes down to starting with a basic shape where it's like, where it's like that. And I keep in mind, I still think of it like as a three dimensional thing. Like let's do like the flat top. You keep in mind that it's a, yeah, it's a three dimensional shape. And uh, so like that almost, I don't know if you can sort of get the sense there's where the nose would be. I add the nose in there. It's where it sort of ends. And then from the side angle, I guess this shape would be like flat top, the edge there, and then like that. And there's where like the head would start. Sort of just that shape really. That's the simplest way to think about it, I think. Obviously you can go, like, I don't even have a mouth on this thing. I don't know, let's, let's add a little smile. It's a, it's a happy doggo. Here. And this one's happy too. Hold on, there's not a whole lot of room for the mouth here. There, it's, it's happy. And, uh, if you want to just, like, add the bottom mouth as a separate thing, you can do that too. The uh, front part of the muzzle always like curves forward, usually. 
and it's 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 pretty like I don't know. I don't think there's a whole lot to it. Obviously, when the mouth is open, it's a whole nother story. Okay, so let's see what else do we have here. How many times do you draw a day? That's really funny because I am currently working on a video where I am keeping track of how much I am drawing each day. I'm gonna do like three days. I'm already like measuring myself today. Like I've already, I've already drawn for like at least before this live stream, I had drawn for like 45 minutes and it's a little past 11. <laughs> Uh, so that should be an interesting video because I'm gonna like find the average of how much I'm drawing each day. I just have to, you know, remember, remember to keep track of that because sometimes I just instinctively start drawing. A sketchbook just appears in front of me and I just go for it. <laughs> a lot of artists say don't compare your art, but I like the perspective of catching up. But yeah, you have to, it's kind of a tricky mindset because you... You, if you're not comparing yourself to anyone else, you're just, you, like, you're just sitting there. You can't, you can't really, like, I don't know. It's, I don't think that's a good way to do it. You have to look at other people, but you can't say, you can't look at them and say, oh, no, they're so good. I'll never be that good. I should just give up. You should say, oh, they're that good. Why can't I be that good? And so you just, you just practice a lot and, um, with sheer determination and spite, you, you get that good. <laughs> that, that's, that's how it works for me, I guess. Okay, what else? Bring it on, guys. Yeah, your dog is a big fan. Your dog is going to become a, such a good artist. Motivation! Yeah! How long have we been doing this? What time is it? Where, where's the, where's the timer on this? Oh, it's been, it's been half an hour. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can go for like another at least half an hour. My voice hasn't gone yet. I need to learn how to draw paws. Perfect. Let's go. I do not have a, <laughs> I just like, I forgot that I was there and I laughed at it. We're gonna let let's do the paw thing over this. We don't we don't need this anymore. <laughs> so paws, um, it's different between like canines and felines, but sometimes you don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, think of it as this sort of shape, just like a weird triangle, nice rounded triangle. Let's add it. Let's add it some toes. So the paw is just kind of facing out this way. When I when I said it's going to face out this way, I almost gestured with my hands instead of drawing an arrow there. And I always forget that people can't see when I'm gesturing. Like when I'm recording my short art tip videos, you you wouldn't know, but I'm gesturing like wildly and no one can no one can see me. There's no reason for it. I just I just do. And I, just whenever I'm explaining something, I guess, I just, I just do gestures. Okay, so then you've got this paw, and then, um, let's think of it as, like, a 3D shape. So let's draw, let's draw some, some dotted lines here, so you can kind of see what kind of shape this is. And so, the, the leg should, uh, let's, let's say this is, like, a front leg, should come out back from it and sort of like this is like the ankle in a way and then the leg sort of goes farther up like this there's sort of like this ankle part that connects the the leg part to the the foot part so um let's see so yeah this is this is a good good diagram i would say to get you started but um, from a side angle, let's do that. Once again, same shape, really. Maybe a little bit of the toe showing. Uh, it comes out like that. Then goes up. Don't overdo that. I just overdid it a bit. So like, you know, like that. 
And then from the back, let's let, we're, we're getting trickier here. Got the same shape. And then the leg comes like that. And, and then up. I, sometimes when I'm explaining things, I just have no idea if it's making any sense whatsoever. <laughs> I really have no clue. I hope that this makes some sense. And um, then the bottom, I guess, bottom of the paw is, you know, you've, you've got toes. I always forget, like, I, I guess animals typically have four toes. Sometimes I just draw three. Let's have it bend because there's a joint there and joints are cool. So we should take advantage of those. Yeah, yeah, pause. Ta-da! Okay. So what's, what's up next? My dog has brown fur and white paws. Aw, I love dogs with white paws. It's so cute. They just want to like gently touch their paws even though animals generally don't like having their their paws touched. <laughs> it's so tempting. Hi, I didn't know you were streaming. Hello! This is our first stream on this channel. It's very exciting. I'm not sure yet whether or not I'm going to leave streams up or not. Um, I'm still figuring that out. Maybe I'll like add chapters. Who really knows? We'll figure that out. All right, what are the questions? How do you draw animal heads from a side view? Okay, let's, let's see. Where do we have space? Um, let's, let's start. Let's like steal my drawing from over here. Scoot this. Um, we're going to take a look at this. So ignore what I have there already. We start with this, um, usually I do the top of the head pretty flat, maybe a little bit angled like that. And it's sort of like a box in a way, but not quite like, don't just do like a square. <laughs> Please don't. It's sort of like, I usually do like the bottom of this head shape larger than the bot than the, than the top. I, I know words. So it ends up looking a little bit like this. And then the muzzle comes out from this, maybe about like halfway, depending on what I want to make this look like. What just happened? Why is my screen black? Oh, that was weird. <laughs> did you guys see that? Did that, did that happen? What is this? Why, what was that? <laughs> I, that's actually happened before when I'm drawing on this um, on this laptop it just goes black for a moment and then it comes back it's kind of scary uh, then let's let's add a neck to this thing or actually let's do eyes first you saw yeah it's it's weird I don't know what it is but I guess as long as it comes back it's fine <laughs> so eyes um, eyes, I generally uh, start them. The bottom is the same place where the muzzle, the top of the muzzle is. They line up. Let's add a nice eyeball there. I like the little, the slight delay of just everyone freaking out because the screen turned black. <laughs> yeah, here's the eye. Maybe we'll add a little eyebrow here. And then, yeah, you know, there's sometimes fluff. So let's add some fluff. And the neck coming down. Just like that, I guess. I, I not a whole lot to say about the neck. Just kind of, just kind of exists, you know? Just the back of the head just leads into the neck like that. Then the, the front part of the neck sort of just curves into the muzzle area there. 
and I guess this thing should have ears too. So ears for any canine thing. Let's do pointed ears. Um, so this gonna go back, forward. So there's sort of this this weird section of the ear. The ear goes. It's not a flat triangle. It goes like back like that. And then there's the actual opening, like, what was I going to call this? Like, the the bowl of the ear. <laughs> I really have a, a way with words, don't I? And then this other ear, I'll just do it kind of the same way. Yeah, just remember there's this big, like, triangle space here where it goes back, like that, and then back into the ear. And then there's the the bowl. I'm really glad that there's like people here because I wasn't entirely sure if anyone would like actually come and watch this live stream. And so I would have just been I would have just been talking to myself and doodling. It would have been it would have been a little bit odd. Okay. You know, it's probably good that uh, there aren't uh, a bunch of people here because um, we've got a good amount of people because I'm getting to the questions. Although I am, I am, see, I'm missing some. Um, have you ever erased a drawing on accident before, digital and paper? Um, I mean, luckily with digital, there's always, you can, you can take it back. But I've definitely, I've definitely lost progress on art because it randomly crashed or I forgot to save. And as for drawing on paper, I don't know. I usually, nowadays, I mostly draw with pen. So I, I kind of got fed up with the, the graphite smearing everywhere. So I started drawing with pen. <laughs> and you can't really erase that. I'm drawing as well. Yeah, I think these live streams are fun for you to like maybe like grab your own sketchbook, especially when I do more specific live streams where I'm just like showing you how to do something. Like I think next I'll do horses. You can grab your sketchbook and draw along with me. Oh no, I'm doing the gesturing thing again. You can't see me, I forget. All right, more questions. Is, is there any I missed? The bowl of the ear, yep. That's what it is. Hmm. How do you draw the muzzle if the head is looking straight? Did I do that already? I thought it looking like it's... I think, I think that's basically what this is right here. This is my drawing class. Yes, welcome to drawing class, kids. Today we're gonna we're gonna learn how to draw dragons apparently because that person said so. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this one. Actually, you know what? We can just do it like that, do it like that, and draw a dragon. Dragons. Everyone has a dragon phase, but I never really had any significant dragon phase. So my dragons are actually I always struggle with them actually. So we're gonna try this. There's also so much variety with dragons, so it's kind of difficult because they all look so different. We've got, I might start with like a box shape for the head, like that. We've got a box, um, we'll do uh, some sort of muzzle thing. I'm really just going at it here, I don't, I don't know what I'm, <laughs> dragons aren't really my my area, I need to work on that because they are fun to draw. They're just kind of weird looking, you know? Like they're, you don't know what to do. How do you shape that head? Where do you put the eyeballs? What should the ears look like? My goodness, okay. So, um, we're gonna do, how about like a little twisty neck like a lot of dragons have? And, um, 
body. My goodness. Um, we're going to. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Let, let's let's ignore the body for now. Let's just focus on the head. I'm gonna do like these pointed ears, I guess. You can do like I've seen these pointed ears. I've seen just these like little frill things as ears. Um. I did, um, I did draw, uh, I watched, uh, Ryan the Last Dragon the other day, and I drew the dragon from that, and promptly realized that the dragon has no visible ears, I don't think, at least in the picture that I was drawing. It's just all fluff. And I was really fascinated by that. There, there's just no ears on that thing. And then, and then I got to see, um, I got to see, uh, Shang-Chi early, and I was like, wow, the dragon's voice is coming out of a person. Yeah, I felt so, like, VIP getting to, like, see a movie early. It was great. <laughs> Go see that movie, guys, because uh, I don't want... It, first off, it's good. Second off, I don't want other movies to get delayed. <laughs> I want it to do well. And so, um, there. sometimes dragons... I'm, I just realized I'm not explaining what I'm doing. Sometimes dragons have these, like, plates on their heads. So I'm doing this sort of, like, diamond-shaped plate. It's kind of like dinosaurs. I think dinosaurs are definitely an influence on what dragons look like. So, you know, they're really just, just weird looking dinosaurs. As if dinosaurs aren't weird looking on their own. You can skip the wings if it's a water dragon. Yeah, I guess those don't really need wings. Um, I don't know. I feel like this dragon deserves wings though. It looks like a, a winged dragon. Okay, so eyes. A lot of times, I mean, obviously you can give them really any eye. They'll kind of have, if they're more realistic, they'll kind of have these slit eyes, like cats. I'm just gonna give it these, these little nice, normal, default looking eyes. And maybe one more, like, plate type thing. Like that, maybe? I don't know. This is this is look alright. I feel like it needs horns. Where where should I put horns on this thing? Maybe like coming forward like that. Can you learn how to draw a bird? We can do birds. Birds are cool. Yeah, there we go. This thing's got this thing's got horns. You can do a lot with horns. They can come out like forward like this. They can go farther back. They can twist around. Horns are fun. And then also, um, what should I do with like the back of the neck? Maybe we'll just ignore that. There, there's nothing on the back of this neck. Maybe you just can't see it. It's got something back there. You just, you just can't tell. Okay, should I, should I do, let's do a little bit of a body. Um, just kind of a typical, typical body here. Almost like a short horse-like body. A skinny waist. A lot of like dinosaur reptile things have pretty skinny waists. And let's give it a tail. What should I put it at the end of the tail? Sometimes you see like spines. Um, sometimes it's like, well, the thing like Toothless has something like that. And, um... I think I think we'll just go like like that maybe. I should I should hurry up because I think there's more questions. <laughs> kind of looks like a leaf. That's interesting. It's a it's a leaf dragon. I just decided this. Okay, we're gonna quickly add wings, and uh, then move on to the next thing. Uh, my race needs to be bigger, but I don't care. So wings, they can come back like this, the edge of the wing, and then I have no room, but then they go up like this. Sometimes you'll see a little, like, a little that there, like, I, I don't, what do you call this? Like a, not a claw, it's not like, I don't know, I don't know dragon words. And then usually there's a little bit of like this skin here before the the wingy part starts and 
then you, you've got you've got these lines the little the little rainbow rainbow shapes here and then they always um, remember the some people like to connect them back here but uh, I think it looks usually you want to connect it to this part of the wing so you add the little little lines there and this dragon this dragon only has one wing and it, it was just born that way I don't feel like drawing the other wing <laughs> we're creating a character right here it's a nature dragon that has one wing yep okay there's our dragon hope that that <laughs> that was helpful at least a slight bit <laughs> Okay. Can you show us how to draw landscapes? Yes. Okay, what should we... Let's get rid of this. Oops. Okay. So landscapes. First off, you want to figure out where to put your horizon, which I have a whole video planned on, which is coming out at some point in the future. And uh, so you want to figure out where to put your horizon. I'll talk more about in that video what different horizon placements can mean. But usually doing it like around here, around here, just anywhere but the middle because the middle is kind of boring. I guess you could, but you know, you want to be, you want to be interesting. That's, that's boring. So let's put our horizon right here. And usually, I mean, it kind of depends on what you're going for, but I might put some, some little hills on this horizon be some trees you kind of when it gets this far back you kind of don't really need to think too much about what things are because you don't need to detail them that much it's really all the same color because as you know things fade as they get farther back hopefully you know and um, usually it helps to let's let's get our perspective I need to work on perspective I'm always kind of kind of lazy with that Let's draw some lines here so that we get we, we remember that this is a flat plane and in a three-dimensional space so you go like that sometimes it helps when you're drawing this sort of thing to add more lines the farther back it gets because it's farther back <laughs> and so then you start sticking things on this plane so maybe I want to add a cool looking rock here so I will add that there and then maybe a river is going through here the twisting river and oftentimes when rivers disappear into the back of a landscape they kind of just disappear like they thin out and then disappear because the land I guess covers up the rest of the river and it's so far back there <clears throat> okay, my voice is my voice is starting to go, but we're still good. We're good. Well, let's check on the subscribers a second. I don't think anyone new has subscribed, but just in case, if you like to draw and you aren't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it. Right now we're sitting on 531. It's pretty cool. and hopefully we can keep growing we've definitely slowed down because obviously i promoted my channel and a lot of people came from that and now less people are coming from that so now i need to actually reach new people <laughs> but we'll get there i believe in us i appreciate the like small sort of little thing you got going here it's kind of nice So yeah, I've got a rock here in my space, and then if we had another rock here, it's probably, let's let's say this rock is like the same size, it's going to be smaller because it's farther back, and then we should add some trees. I've got a, I got a whole video on trees, you know? Here's our, here's our cool looking tree. Usually with trees, I didn't mention this in this video, it's fun to, if you're drawing an evergreen tree to draw the, I want to call this the spine of the tree, but I guess you could call this the trunk if you want to be accurate. 
<laughs> so yeah, you draw you draw this tree here, and then uh, we don't really have anything. Let's add a little house here. Actually, let's add a little little house. You know, when you're drawing landscapes, you just kind of you just kind of go for it. <laughs> you don't have to think super hard. You just think, wow, let's add a house there and a happy little tree there, and so on. And I have nothing in the foreground, so we're going to add something. What should I add in the foreground, guys? What should go there? Can you just how to draw birds? Yes, birds we can do as soon as I add. Let's add a giant bird in the in the foreground of this, actually. Uh, and then I'll actually teach you how to draw birds. It's going to be a really cute bird. Here, here's the bird. It's just kind of peeking out at the camera. Here's our cute bird. There we go. And it's got to say something so that I can fill up the space here. It is saying, what should the bird say, guys? Uh, the first word I read was parrots, so we're going to say parrots. It's a bird and it's saying parrots. There we go. Okay, this is our landscape drawing. Hope that helped. Let's talk about birds now. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, we've already been live streaming for almost an hour. What? Okay, uh, let's switch to... I have to make sure... I've got the most confusing setup here because I've got two mouses on different mouse pads set up for different devices. I'm just weird like that. And so I grabbed the wrong mouse, you know? Okay, birds. Okay, let's see. So we've got basically birds at their basic form just a general bird not really any kind of bird in particular you've got a head their heads are pretty round that's the only place where i will excuse a perfectly round head as a great head shape and then they've got a um what do you call this it's like a an orange slice body so you've got this and then, um, usually they've got these, like, their chest area comes out like this, almost. So it's, like, larger on the side, and then they shrink down at the end. And then birds tend to have a tail that comes out like this. It's just, like, a weird, weird thing of feathers there that just comes out straight. Unless you unless you want to make it a weird bird, then you can make it like curly or something, I guess. I've never seen a bird like that, but maybe there is one. And then, let's add the legs. So the legs, they come out generally. Obviously, this is a very, very basic bird, and birds can look, look different <laughs> depending on the kind of bird as different species can go. But bird legs, they kind of come out like this, like this little triangle shape. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to just, unless it's your perspective, you don't want to just have the leg come out like this. Because that's a little bit odd. There's the, the body part of the bird is part like of the leg, like the, the, the hairless weird part of the leg does not start like up here. It starts after uh, this is this is weird to put into words, guys. <laughs> but you see what I mean? It's got these, like, pants, almost, that are part of this body. Think of it like that. <laughs> and then and then the legs come out. Um, what are, where are bird joints? Let's just, let's just make them come out like that. Usually they come out forward. And... Just these little skinny legs. <laughs> Bird pants. And then they've got feet. Their feet are like little, little uh, dragon claws. And I think they've got, they've got like a back toe, I think, usually. 
That's how they. That's how they grip branches. This, this bird is on the ground, I guess. It's about to get eaten by my cat, unfortunately. That's what happens to birds that that stay on the ground. You have to warn them, you know. They don't. They don't know better. So then the wing, <laughs> the wing comes like this. The wing's pretty basic. It's just, it's just like the body, but, but smaller. Same kind of shape. Usually people forget that there's, they forget this chest area here. So make sure the wing is far enough back. And then let's add, let's add some feather, feather pattern to this. There. And then the head is very round, like I said. And um, what kind of face should we give this bird? Let's give it a cute face like that other bird. It's the same bird. It's got the two little eyes and the beak. This isn't, this probably isn't the most realistic bird face, but bird faces are weird. <laughs> Let's draw a realistic bird face a second from the side though, because that's easier. Because birds facing forward look really weird. And I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever heard me say this, but I remember one of my earliest memories is someone drawing a bird where they drew it like it had the beak right here. Here's the eye. And then they gave it a smile underneath the beak. It looks like a weird snowman. <laughs> so yes, remember, always remember that the, the mouth is the beak. They are not, they aren't two separate things. They are, they just aren't. Here, here's our snowman. Snowman bird. Okay, so here's our, here's our side bird. Uh, yeah, they've got the, remember, um, not like this shape, the throat of the bird sort of comes out as this one curve with the beak. Just like that. Always, always remember that there's this curve here. And then birds don't really have much of a, a like, a, their neck is really just part of their head. It's not, it's not skinnier, really. So yeah, there's, there's the head. Let's add an eye. There's our eye. And then the, let's add a tiny nostril right here. The, the mouth part usually kind of comes out just like that. And then the separation of the beak and the, the rest of the head is a little bit difficult because it's not just a simple line like that, really. That's not very realistic. I guess you could do that if you're doing cartoon, but usually you kind of just get the feathers just randomly covering up part of the beak like that this bird has an undescribable emotion to it what is this emotion right here <laughs> I it's like it just looks like disappointed <laughs> I, I don't know it's it's a weird bird this is okay let's draw wings like a bird that's in flight because this bird has closed wings do this. So a bird in flight, the wings will, it's kind of like, think of dragon wings, like it comes out like this, then you get the wing, and maybe start by doing these, this just the shape like this, because when you start just adding feathers right away, sometimes you can get a little carried away and it can look wonky, and we don't want that. I hope that my terrible way of explaining things is providing you with at least a little bit of entertainment. <laughs> okay, so then you've got this shape. This is the bottom part of the wing right here. And this is the top part of the wing. And this is where the body would be. This is, this is the body. There. So then the top part, usually birds, they'll have this sort of, these short feathers that take up the rim here, sort of. And then the long feathers are right here. 
So you add all the feathers right there. And then remember that there is this like curve here that the feathers match. So when you just start adding feathers right away, it just, they look very uneven, I guess. So you want to make sure that you have this established curve right here. Right, right here. I realize you, you can't see me gesturing. It's, it's a problem. And then these feathers are sort of like a combination between these feathers and these feathers. They're sort of just like a little bit, these are like fluffy feathers. These are like the long feathers and these are like a combination. They're, they're shorter, but they still like, they still got that feather, feather. They're not just fluff. So then you've got a, you've got a wing. And then from the back, let's add the other wing. Unlike I did with the dragon, this bird gets, let's add a head here first. This bird gets two, two wings. <laughs> This is a really fat bird. <laughs> He's been eating too many seeds. Okay, so then we've got the wing. Remember that the bird might be, this bird is at a little bit of an angle, so let's imagine that the bird is like looking like that. Give him a smile. There, there's our bird. You're saying bye? Oh, bye. Okay, so here's, um, here's the other wing. Usually the wing, it looks more at an angle from the back, but it really depends. And, um, what does the back of a wing look like? It's kind of the same, but usually you get less detail, almost. Like, it really, there's really not like all of this. It's kind of just there. <laughs> it's a chalky bird, yes. I think this is my favorite bird we've drawn so far. Let's give it a tail. Let's give it a swirly tail, like I said earlier. It's gonna have like, like that. There. Should it, should, it, should it have legs? It's gonna have little legs. When birds are flying, their legs are like tucked in. So you've got the part where the, the pants, as I called it, and then you've got the leg coming out, and then you've got their little, little feet. Like that. That's a, that's a bad example, but, but they, they just tuck in their legs, you know? They just tucked in there. Okay, well, what's next? What, is there any, any questions here about, about drawing? I like to draw. Arctic wolves and normal wolves are different. I use school references. Yeah, school references. I should bother with those more. Those, those are, those are always good. Although sometimes when looking at a skull, I'm always like, how does this translate? But I think it's a good idea if you want to tell the difference between two different kinds of a type of animal to look at their skull because you can see, you can like see what makes the difference, I guess. Draw eyes. Let's talk about some eye shapes. I might want to use that for like a normal video, but let's see. How do you loosen your wrist in lines? So we're going to do eyes and we're going to do that. So basically I have my arm resting here on my table, but what really helps me, I'm going to talk about this in a video probably, is my art glove means that when I'm drawing on a digital screen, my hand can slide. So I can like, when I'm drawing these lines, my hand is sliding on my screen. And when you don't have an arc glove, it's kind of kind of harder to do that. Yeah, so really you just don't rest your hand. Make sure that your hand isn't planted on your canvas, your paper, your screen. Make sure that your hand can slide. And then you should be good. How do you draw eyes? Okay, let's do eyes. Ugh, we're not going to get rid of that. That's too precious. We're, uh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm too attached to all these drawings. Oh no. Let's, let's get rid of this. Eraser because, no, it's, wait, no, it is. <laughs> this is my daily struggle. Okay, we're going to end after this question probably. So I'm sorry if there's another question after this, but, but I, I do have to end at some point. It's been over an hour. And my voice is going. 
Okay, eyes. Let's let's draw some quick heads first, so that we so that we have a something to start with. I do a lot of different eye shapes. It really depends. It also depends on like the proportions of my my person. So let's start with that head. We're gonna copy and paste this. Uh, once I, whenever I'm doing Photoshop and people are watching me, I forget how to do everything. Let's, let's just try this. That didn't work. <laughs> I know how to do Photoshop, I swear. Just duplicate the layer. Here we go. No, that didn't. <laughs> No, I'm selecting both. Oh, this, no. I, <laughs> this is going great. This is quality. This is this is what you guys subscribed for. Okay, so let's do like three heads. And then I'll draw different eyes on each one. Let's put that down there. Okay, here's some heads. I, I didn't give them ears, but I guess that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one. Um, lately my favorite um, eye shape, let's start with normal actually. So normal eyes, let's do some guidelines. Really messy guidelines. Uh, you end up with like about an eye, sh uh, eye width in between the eyes. And then the eyes on each side. Make sure that there's enough space between that eye and the side of the head. Then we have to draw the other eye. Make sure that looks good. I think that looks all right. Then when it comes to realistic, typically, obviously it depends, but you might want to add eyelids. Eyelids, um, a lot of people don't draw the eyelids far enough up. They're pretty, eyelids are pretty large, I guess, is how you could put that, uh, maybe. <laughs> And then irises, yeah, just like that. Let's add some eyebrows real quick. There's what realistic eyes would be like. Just kind of got this typical almond shape. Maybe even they're a little bit too big here. Eyes are surprisingly small when they're realistic. I know a lot of people that do cartoon styles a lot will have trouble when they do realistic making the eyes small enough. They just can't bring themselves to do it. <laughs> There's there's semi-realistic eyes. You just got this basic shape here. There's the the tear duct is I think what you call that. This sometimes you get the lower eyelid there, upper eyelid, and the longest usually the most noticeable part of the eyelashes because are on the end here because they it's hard to explain but they go out more rather than just forward. So that's why you see most of the eyelashes on the side. And then Let's do another eyes over here. These are the eyes I've been using a lot. Um, well, first, let, let's do my favorite eyes for last. There's also, you can do, well, first off, you can do, let's do a bunch of eyes on the side. There's basic ovals, which I do a lot. There, it's watching you. You're being watched. And then there's also, you can do like the top of the eye and the bottom of the eye as two separate lines. I usually like to make either the top or the bottom more angled. Like here I have the bottom more angled. Do the other eye, the dreaded other eye. What are people saying? I glitched, did I? What did it glitch like? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna end pretty soon, just after these eyes. So then you end up with this. Just really these two different lines. It's very simple, and then the eyes. The 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 irises. That's what you call it. You put the eyes in the eyes. You know, they just go in like that. I often like to put them when they're cartoon a little bit more into the center, not just like straight up cross-eyed usually but usually they're a little bit closer to the middle part here. 
it just looks nice. I don't know why. My voice just sort of glitched out. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. I'm secretly a robot. Oh no, my secret's out. So yeah, we've got eyes like that. They almost look like anime eyes. <laughs> and then, um, another eye shape you can do is what I really like. I've been doing this lately is, let's get the two, two little dots there. It goes a uh, sharp, sharp up here. <laughs> And then you, it dips down to this sharp, sharp like angle here with two lines at the bottom. Sort of like that. Maybe it's my internet. I have no clue. It says excellent connection with a green dot right there, which I think is a good sign, but, but I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, this... The bottom has this sort of like angle to it. This is something I've only recently started doing. And then there's this sharp. Yeah, it goes up like this very sharp, very high up eyes. And then it goes down, like almost straight down. Yep, I'm, I'm just fantastic at explaining things. This is why I have to script my <laughs> my videos, my short normal art tip videos, because otherwise they would be a big mess. So then we add pupils. Sometimes like, especially for these cartoon eyes, I kind of just instinctively make them more oval. You can be really creative with your um, pupil, I mean, iris shapes. You can make them a little bit squared, like a rectangle. You can make them like a square almost. That might be interesting. I've never tried that, but apparently I have now. So yeah, you know, just, just pupils. And once again, I put them more towards the middle. If I put them out like this, they would look a little little bit odd but when you put them in the middle more towards closer to each other it it looks normal for some reason but you can't do that with realistic eyes because it won't look normal they'll just look cross-eyed i don't know why that is <laughs> can we make you fan art i would love that i have not received any like art for this channel and i think that i would squeal with joy if if I if I did <laughs> I do have an Instagram connected to this channel which is just uh, Kuzillin I don't it's not my priority so I'm not posting it on it a whole lot I really just prioritize the YouTube but I think that's a good place to you know get updates from me stuff like that if you're able to get Instagram but yeah, here's my, my eye demonstration. So I hope that this has been helpful. I think we're about to end now. Just want to, just want to chill out for a moment. Step back and reflect on the time we've had today. I'll post it on my channel. Oh, thank you. I'm, I have high hopes for this channel. I'm really excited. I'm, I was like, not sure about it at first. But I think I'm definitely going to be able to carry on with this channel and we should be able to do a lot of really cool things in the future. Do you have a Discord server or something? I've been thinking of starting a Discord um, for this channel at some point, although I'm pretty terrible with Discord, so I would need to figure that out. And I also want to make sure that there's enough people interested before I start it, but that should, that should be a thing at some point. This has been so much fun. I've had fun too. I'm glad that you guys have had fun. Hopefully most of you have. <laughs> it's, it's been an odd live stream for sure. <laughs> I have Discord but I don't have Insta. Yeah, um, I think I made a- I have a Discord for this. I think it's just like Kuzillin. So you can like try to- try to message me on there I guess. But yeah, hopefully more live streams coming soon. I've still got that intro 
So more more animations. Yeah, next live stream will probably be focused on horses. I'm gonna try to remember all of the horse terms I know. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have fun. Gonna keep at it. And once again, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate the support. Hopefully you had your questions answered, at least partially. Some of my answers were pretty bizarre, I will say. Yeah, I know, sometimes you're not allowed to have certain things, and that's for good reason. Luckily, um, I'm hoping to eventually get my community tab on this channel. Right now I have the discussion tab, which, uh, with the community tab, the difference is that I can do, like, polls, and I can post pictures, and so that's good for keeping you guys updated. But, yeah, hopefully we'll get that eventually. <laughs> we'll see. And now I'm kind of just dragging on, so we're going to go... If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it. You're probably all subscribed, though. I wouldn't be surprised. Because <laughs> my um, subscriber to non-subscriber ratio is very weird, and almost everyone is subscribed. <laughs> so now, uh, we're going to end. Thanks for coming again. Where's the end button? There it is. Uh, have a nice rest of your day. Um, yeah. Go, go draw or something. Go have fun. Bye. Thanks for coming.